All right, what's going on, everybody? Shanghai20 at YouTube.com. Another little tutorial. I wouldn't say tutorial, tutorial, because I'm not going to go through everything, because Photoshop is huge. But what I am going to do is show you how I, I'm going to do some of my graphic arts for, for more fight sticks. If you guys want to see them, I mean, I'll definitely do more. But this is right now just a general thing. All right, so we're going to go. First, we need to pick up. We need to go get... Photoshop. You can get Photoshop. They're, they're giving out free trials. I mean, you do got to sign up to Adobe, and that's kind of annoying. They do send you a bunch of emails for no good reason. But in terms of just getting your legs wet, your dick wet, if my friend would say it, and how Quentin Tarantino would say it. But <clears throat> what you do is you go open, open from the top. Go to o well, go to file, go to open, and then you peruse your pictures. I mean, I have a shitload of pictures. I actually spent a lot of time looking for pictures and stuff to put on here. I mean, I'm just kind of ADD like that. But okay, this is my new fight art. Not bad, huh? I mean, I I, I definitely definitely try to put in all the work. Biken, by the way. From my last video, I said I couldn't remember her name. One one armed samurai woman from Guilty Gear. It's Biken. I know I'm a dumb bitch for that, but hey, I can't remember all the time. But basically, this is my new fight skin. Shanghai in the corner. Uh, Slade Wilson's daughter, um, Rose Ravenger, for people who read comic books. I mean, I'm a huge comic book fan. I have dozens of comics, dozens of great comics, Black as Night, I got huge comic stacks, so I mean, if you guys want comic reviews, I can definitely give you that, if you guys want video game reviews, I do that, I have movies, I, I, I'm a collector, I collect as much stuff as I can, the stuff I care about. Got. I can do the old games for you. I mean, dream back to Dreamcast, PlayStation One. I mean, I have I, I have a big collection, but that's just that's just for that just for putting it out there. I, if you guys want more, I'll give you more. But as of right now, we're gonna do a little quick Photoshop fight stick tutorial. Now, let me put it this way. This is the official skin template for a Hori T6 Tekken fight stick. Most other fight sticks you can find pretty easily online. They're not hard to find whatsoever. This one, on the other hand, I don't know. It's either that no one cares too much about this fight stick or no one mods it enough that you can find this easily. I actually had to go troll a couple of work websites for this, a couple of uh blogs, a couple of tech tech talk and stuff like that. Big up to uh Shadukin dot com. Shadukin dot com. Them those cats are great over there. They help me out with a lot of stuff, but this one I mean I'm gonna do myself. So we're gonna go let's see to put another picture on here. Um you go up to um file, you open and then we look for a new um, skin. I mean, as you can tell, there's Sea Viper and and Storm and my chick Nina from um, Tekken. Love her. And I mean, the new game's coming out, Skullgirls. Uh, it's coming out pretty soon. Everyone should look out for it. It's going to be a fantastic game. I really, really think so. But as of right now, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm kind of feeling them. So I want to put some, some fight, some Skullgirl fights on here, like. Sarah Bella, here we go. Now, she's pretty awesome. I like that picture. Nice cans. It goes in well with the whole, uh, with my whole thing. I like, I like fighting with females. Those are the only people I really want to play with. So now we go to edit and go to, oh, no, no. First, uh, we can go and take a look at this. Wait, let me see. Now, when we want to move this to another picture or to my fight skin that's, like, right here, what I'd have to do is I go to the image, I hold it, 
I, I point, I click on it, I hold it, and then I move over to here. Now it's automatically going to bring up my next one. And there it is. For people who really don't know about Photoshop, Photoshop particularly when, I'm, when we're trying to do stuff like this, think of it more like in the Call of Duty uh, Black Ops model with the, with, the, with the player cards. They're all layers. If you look here on the bottom, these are all the layers of, uh, a fight, of, a, of the picture. Now, in, the, in Call of Duty, it would be layers for your, your thing, except it wouldn't be little obscure pictures. They'd actually be the pictures. Like layer number three here for me is, is C. Viper. Now, see how she goes on all that? Because it's on the top layer. So it's going to be on top of everything else. And if you understand the, the Black Ops analysis, then you'll understand this perfectly, and it won't be that hard for you. But... Let's go into a little more advanced things with this thing. Um, I believe this is the picture of Sarah Bella. Okay, layer layer eight. Now, what I want to do also, which you can do, is edit the picture itself. Now, with all these all these things, it does look kind of intimidating, but it's not as much as it looks. You go down to edit, and then you go all the way down to transform. When you go to transform, it's going to give you a lot of options. These are options to manipulate the picture. Scale, rotate, all these things, you know, you know what they do. Now, I'm going to do scale because this picture is a bit smaller than I want it to be. Now, I'll give it to you right now that when you have pictures like this and you try to blow them up, there's no telling if, they, if the resolution will be okay because... You know, as you make a picture scale bigger, the resolution definitely suffers for it. But actually, this picture looks pretty fucking awesome regardless. Now, as you can see, these corners, you don't want this here on her armpit, on the sides. These are things you don't want in the picture, particularly when everyone else is kind of seamlessly cut into the picture. I mean, it's not great. You can see the lines and stuff like that, but I've done my best, and this is like the first time, and I'm kind of trying to give this out to other people because when I tried to do this, it was, it was incredibly hard. I'm not going to lie. It was hard to do a lot of the stuff for the modding, but it was worth it, and I think it's worth it for anybody to give it a try. But you go to a tool right here, the magic eraser tool. If you hold it, you get three options. The magic eraser is perfect for this job. You can actually, it'll actually let you just color in the background. And you click along, you click along the lines to get all this shitty stuff out the way. But when you're done with that, you should have a cool non-background picture to have. Now, you need to make sure that, you know, you gotta go back and take a look if it's not uh, up to your liking. You might have to go back in and, you know, dib and dab it a little. Try to get it just perfect. I mean, if you're not careful, though, you could fill in the, the picture itself. So, I mean, you might want to, you know, speak, be a little cautious, not overly cautious, but in a, in a program like this, you always kind of want to just fool around with it, just show you what you can do with it. But see, as now I got the, got my picture of Sarah Bella in there, which I, 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 I really like. Again, you can drag the image. That's what happens. You drag the image and it becomes behind the other images. Now, as you see, I dragged it from the top spot all the way down here, so now all of these layers are above it. Like I said, if you have the call if you have Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, this is no new new thing for you. You definitely know what you're doing or know how to do this. I'm not gonna say you wouldn't. I'm trying to just figure out the cool well shit, it doesn't even have to be anything right now. I was just kinda I just kinda wanted to show you What's good? Actually, not bad. What do you think? I mean, I know it's a big jumbled mess of fucking pictures right now, but it's not bad. I'm not going to say it's horrible. Plus, I like that. That's, that's pretty, pretty awesome. 
Well, this is uh, another video from Shanghai 20, YouTube.com. I mean, in reality, you guys let me know. Give me some comments. Let me know what you guys want to see. I got, got plenty of stuff to talk about, to show, to review, to rant about. I got, I hate a lot of things. I hate a lot of things. So, I mean, hey, hit me up. Let me know what you want. We can get this, get this whole YouTube thing started. Peace.